You're listening to an archived Cabral Concept podcast. After listening to this show, check out the most up-to-date podcasts available at stephencabral.com slash podcasts or search directly on iTunes. And now, welcome to the Cabral Concept, where board-certified naturopath and integrative health practitioner Dr. Stephen Cabral shares how he was diagnosed at the age of 17 with a life-altering illness and given no hope for recovery. It was only after studying and traveling all over the world did he discover how to combine ancient Ayurvedic healing practices with state-of-the-art naturopathic and functional medicine to fully rebalance the body and re-energize it with life. It's time to discover how to get well, lose weight, and finally feel alive again. And now, here's your host, Dr. Stephen Cabral. And today on our Friday review, we're going to be going through some books, some search tools that I really recommend to you. And one thing that we're going to start with right now is that one of the things in this industry, this health and fitness-based industry, is that there's so many great people, but it's oftentimes, just like any industry, ruined by a few people who are just in this to be online marketers, to try to make money on not the best products. We'll just put it that way. So I just call them the charlatans of the industry. They're the people that you see their emails. It's basically like the headlines will say, juicing makes you fat. Never eat these vegetables. Snack before bed. 10 vegetables to stay away from. And then they run all these different promotions every day for a new different product. So it could say like, okay, well, this week, this is the best exercise program. Next week, this is the next best one. And then the third week, like, okay, we were just kidding about the first two. This is really the best exercise program out there. And it leaves people really confused. And then they do sales all the time or it says like, oops, we messed up. And like our, and they're basically just lying. They're saying we overordered for our inventory. Like these are all the little behind the scenes things that I know that I want to share with you and I want to make sure that you stay away from those companies. I'm not naming any names, but now that I've made you aware, I think you'll start to see them that they're all about just increasing revenue over and over and over. And I understand that as a business, and I run businesses well, that you have to obviously run it like a business, but that does not have to be at the expense of the people that you're trying to serve. You can actually put out a very good product and you can make a living doing that as well, but you don't always have to be just hard marketing to people. So when I see things like juicing makes you fat, well, like at least explain what are you talking about? Juicing makes you fat because you read one study on that. Well, juicing makes you fat maybe if you are juicing just fruits all day long or you're actually drinking processed fruit juice. And when you say never eat these vegetables and you're talking about a nightshade-based vegetable, well, okay, that might be true for someone with rheumatoid arthritis or some type of inflammatory-based disease or, you know, health issue, but not for everyone. So these are not all for ones. When it says like, you know, vegetables to stay away from, that's just, it's basically sensationalism. It's the one thing that I really dislike in this industry is this sensationalism and trying to use anything like detoxes don't work or the best program, because what you're doing is you're saying those things only to market your product. Meaning like if you have a specific type of nutritional supplement, you say the other ones don't work specifically. And if you have a juice-based cleanse, you might say, well, a regular detox doesn't work and you shouldn't do that. Or if you have a detox, you might say, well, don't do juicing because that doesn't work. You should only be doing a detox. So my thing is I do have the Dr. Paul detox and it works fantastically well, but I also definitely believe in the healing powers of green juice and other types of juice like that. I've studied them. I've seen the effects they can have in a lot of natural anti-cancer-based institutes like the Gerson Institute and others that have been proven to show that those do help remove acids from the body. They help heal the body as well. So one thing I just want to say is is just do be a little bit of a detective when you're reading these emails from people and you're looking online. If it seems reputable, if they're not using and talking about too much sensationalism, like these things make you fat and all those different types of things, then you can probably feel pretty confident about that person. I also like to see people that are doing this in the real world as well. Um, I have no problem with people you know, writing books and all that. I do that myself as well. But it's nice to also know that you're working with real people. I think that goes a long way. It's nice to be able to see that person doing this in the real world, that you could contact them 
um, you know, if you ever needed to. All right, that's my rant on the industry. Next up, one thing that people are really not using social media enough for is they're using it to connect with people. They're using it to kind of get little snippets of articles here and there. If they're like me, I, I love using Instagram because I love the images. But did you know, and this is definitely something that I would like you to look into, that you can use actually these social media platforms, especially something like Instagram. And you can actually search out with a hashtag what you want to look for specifically. So people ask me all the time, you know, especially the wellness clients or body transformation clients I work with, you know, how can I get recipes? How can I get these specific things? Well, I can also give them specific recipes, but they can use a hashtag like smoothie recipes, vegetarian recipes, paleo recipes, vegan recipes, whatever they want. And they can hashtag that right in the search bar. So it's a little magnifying glass in pretty much any social media platform. And then anyone that's written a specific post on a smoothie recipe that will be hashtagged and then they can just kind of sift through them. And But just by the photos in Instagram, you'll be able to see if that's a recipe that you might like to create, like a gluten-free bread or you know, something like that. You can check it out and you can actually say, is this something I would like to cook for myself or my family? So I just want to make sure you're aware of that because a lot of people know about hashtags, a lot of people know about social media, but it's just a great way to have thousands of recipes all at your disposal and to be able to look at the photos ahead of time of what they look like or hopefully will look like when you do cook those. All right, so that's uh, one thing, again, I wanted to bring to your awareness. And next up, I want to talk about a book I don't think I've ever mentioned in the podcast. And I'm not sure I've waited till this long because it's a book that I think can give people a lot of great content and context when looking at food as natural medicine and a healing entity that can actually help us not just you know transform our bodies for what it looks like, but transform it from the inside out as well. And so that book is called The Food Connection by Sam Grassi. He was the creator of a, a product I believe is called Greens Plus. I think he sold that now. This is a book I read about I think a decade or so ago. It's an excellent book. You know, again, like most books there's some things obviously I don't agree with it. Like I don't agree with having a piece of white bread or something like that before dinner to increase certain like neurotransmitters like serotonin and melatonin that can help you sleep. Although there could be some actual truth to that, I don't think that's the best way to go about it. But overall, the book is excellent. I really enjoy it. I definitely recommend all the personal trainers that I hire on my team. I give them a bunch of books to read. And this is one of those books that I do like them to kind of sink their teeth into and get to know. It's in-depth. I only recommend reading about 10 pages per day. And again, if you read 10 pages per day, if you use my formula uh, that you've heard me talk about before, you can read 300 pages a month. That's one book a month. And you can really become an expert in many different topics by just kind of following that formula that I talked about. But in this book, it just runs the gambit. It really talks about how foods can heal the body, how they do contain energy, and that energy then can be used for our own natural internal energy. And then he breaks down a lot of the foods, like the differences between proteins, fats, and carbohydrates, and how carbohydrates truly are the real fuel for our body. Proteins are the amino acids that build up our body. And fat can be used for many different things, whether it's hormone production. It can even be used enzymatically in some cases to help with different getting nutrients in and out of the cell. Then he breaks down the different nutrients in foods, like which foods have the most carotenoids, which are just you know very special types of antioxidants or phytonutrients. Those specific types of carotenoids can enhance the immune function, basically balance blood sugar, kill off pathogens, clean our gut, decrease cancer. And then it gives you the foods. And some of those would be like chlorella and wheatgrass and spirulina, different types of berries and carrots, uh, sweet potatoes, anything orange in that nature. So anyway, it's a very interesting book. I enjoy it. And you know, again, do I recommend every product in it? No. Do I recommend every single thing? Like I'm not big on dairy. Uh, he recommends quite a bit of, you know, whether it's a yogurt or whey protein. Again, in the right cases, I don't have an issue with those, but I don't think they need to be in there to make it a healthy part of your diet. So really, it's a great book. It really is. If you can get your hands on a copy of it, definitely recommend checking it out and let me know if you enjoyed it. One thing that a lot of people have been asking about, and so I do want to say that it is coming, is I want to do a Blend Tech versus Vitamix 
blend off. We'll put it that way. So we'll make a video about it, but I'll also do a podcast. A lot of people ask me, you know, what I use. Do I, do I use a blend tech or do I use a Vitamix? So I'm going to be able to review that for you in the future and let you decide which is the best choice for you because it's an investment. You know, it's $200 to $300 for a refurbished one and the new ones are over $400 to $500. But I'll tell you, I use my blender once to twice a day, every day. My whole family uses it. We use it for whether it's purees or natural sorbets or ice creams for the kids. We use it for Asi bowls. I use it for my morning smoothie every single morning. I use, I mean, I make that same smoothie for my kids as well. So I think it's like that. It's one of those tools that literally, when you look at it over the course of a year, it might cost you like a dollar a day because you literally use it every single day. So, all right, that will come in the future. And I just want to thank you again. Once again, thank you for tuning into another week of the Cabral Concept. Ever wonder what the best sauna, blue blockers, sleep trackers, wake lights, salt lamps, or other health gadgets are? Or what about the top non-toxic mattresses, sheets, soaps, bath products, toothpaste, and cookware? Or would you like to know the cleanest choices for hemp parts, meal delivery services, supplements, and much more? I personally curated, researched, and now created a resource page of all of my top picks that continues to grow each week. These are the exact products I use in my own life, with my family, in my private practice, and they're the ones I trust. To find out all of my up-to-date recommendations and all the details, simply head on over to stephencabral.com forward slash resources. 